What's up everybody, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today we've got another Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song Guide for you on where to find Richard Dunham. Now quick disclaimer, if you've solved all the puzzles in this area, this video will not help you find Richard Dunham. This is just keyworded for what I thought people would struggle on the puzzles and the objective at the time is where to find Richard Dunham. I'm not actually sure you can find him in the level, I've looked everywhere and not found him yet. But if you're struggling to progress in this level, this video is for you, I just wanted to get that out of the way at the start. So the first thing you need to do is get access to this lower area. You can find a security card on the very first bar. When you come in, there's a big sort of L-shaped bar or U-shaped bar. You find it on the corner in there. You come into this first room. Now you can use your Auspex ability to find a key here on the grandfather clock. I'm not entirely sure what the key's for. Um, I've not found anything and I've run it the third or fourth time through this game now, so I'm still looking. Um, but the first thing you wanna do is access the computer. This will give you the clue you need to solve the book puzzle. Um, so he tells you here that the books are supposed to be read in a specific order, but he read them in another order and found them to be more informative. So that is the answer to the book puzzle. So if you've been struggling in this area for a while, you don't know how to progress. Once you've done all these, you can just progress with the level, but it does sort of stop you finding anything else. So you come into Richard's office and you use the book puzzle solution, which is five, three, four. That will open the bookshelf to reveal a second puzzle because, you know, everyone loves two layers of security. Now, once you've opened this second puzzle door, it's the little access icon where you know there's no there's no turning back. So once you've done that, you will go through to the next stage of the level. If there's anything else you want to do, do that first. To solve the swan song puzzle, you have to match the swans in front of the music box with those on the wall. So the first one you want to turn based on where number one is facing. So the four portraits on the wall all have numbers. One, two, three, four. They're not in an order. That is the number of the corresponding swan. So the first swan you want facing left. The second swan you want facing down left, the third swan you want facing down, and the fourth swan you want facing down right. That will solve the puzzle and let you finish the level. So guys, nice and quick, get ready and get back to the game. If we hope you're out today, do like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.